What's up, pianists? I am on my way to the laundromat. Yeah, you can see all the, <laughs> all the dirty laundry in the back. <laughs> One of the small downsides to the little apartment where we live is that we don't have a washer or a dryer. It's Good Friday. I wanted to take a second to thank everybody out there who has encouraged me to keep making videos. It actually means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate it. I really love you guys. And thanks, thanks a lot for all the encouragement. So today, I'm doing my laundry at the laundromat, like I said. It's a cute little place. Um, sometimes it smells like weed. There's a Pac-Man machine there, so that's kind of cool. I don't know, there's something kind of romantic about, about a laundromat, I guess. Some people find it romantic anyways. My wife often gets catcalled when she goes, so that's why I have taken up the domestic duty of doing the laundry because I don't generally get cat calls. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I don't. Actually, there was one time, nun, a Catholic nun, I was leaning outside of Cece's office. I was like leaning, leaning in the window and talking to her and this nun comes by, she was an old, she's older, and she said, uh, if I was of this world, I would, I would have given your butt a slap. And I was like, oh, hello sister. <laughs> so, you know you're good looking when you're tempting the religious. Here we are at the laundromat. I don't stop myself, I could just spend all my quarters on that Pac-Man game. Oh. All right, so what's new with you? Leave a comment and let me know. How have you been? What's going on? It's been like eight months. Anything exciting happen? Any big achievements? You know, change your career? Did you start your own business? Did you find love? Did you lose love? Just let me know in the comments. We're back. Back like we never left. Back like we never. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little nugget. <laughs> don't be fooled. She was screaming a few seconds. Yeah, I know. Don't be fooled. <laughs> this is our child. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Philomena. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Natural born vlogger. She always wants the camera. Yep, nope, but not yet, little one. We're going out for a picnic because it's like 70 degrees outside. Fahrenheit, which for our Canadian friends equals about 20 to 3. 23 degrees um, is my guess. Google it. Let me know in the comments. Was I right? Was I wrong? Is Mina the cutest baby you've ever seen? Anyways, yep, picnic time.
bring a peace offering. You know you want it. It's a nice juicy sun chip. Are you hissing at me? You're really gonna hiss at me. I brought you peace. I offered you peace, and now you're trying to chase me away from the sun chips that I have offered you. It's war then. There's no peace. There's no compromise. We can't work this out, two Canadians, Canadian to Canadian. Oh. I'm gonna eat these sun chips. I'm gonna take these ones back. You're not getting these. Forget about it. You think you can intimidate me into giving him sun chips? Forget about it. Ain't not happening. It's not happening, you stupid duck. <laughs> An update on the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I still don't have my green card. That's kind of annoying. It's been a year. It's been a year since I submitted my application. And so normally, I should have my green card by now. But I don't. But that's okay. I feel like God has been teaching us that there's all these different securities that we take comfort in, like, like a social security number or a debit card or any of those, you know, regular everyday the internet. life things. But... You know, we were never meant to take comfort in any of those things, right? Like, that's not where our comfort comes from. You know, as the scriptures say, Put no trust in princes, mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that they come to nothing. Yeah, you know, it's like no matter where we are, no matter what we do, you know, it's not it's not the government that takes care of us. It's not any employer that takes care of us. It's, it is God's. It is God's hand that takes care of us. God's is the hand that feeds us. So yeah, so that's cool. All right, so to wrap up this episode, I wanted to talk about... Woo! It's bright. It's so bright outside. I wanted to talk about why I deleted my social medias, except for YouTube. I'm not... Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, pianists. The, the YouTube is not going anywhere, but I did delete my Facebook and my Instagram. Like I did like a hard delete. Why did I do it? I don't know if this will resonate with any of you guys, but reels, Instagram reels and Facebook reels in particular, uh, make me feel very depressed. I think about it this way. So you sit down on a couch and you pull out your phone. You open up your Instagram reels and what do you see? Maybe you see one of the most beautiful people you've ever seen ever. You flip it and then you see the most beautiful landscape. More beautiful than maybe any landscape you'll ever get to see in person. Then you flip it again and you see a musician, a, a musician who's more talented than, than any musician you've ever seen in person. You see me. You see me and you get depressed. No, just kidding. And then you flip it again and then you hear the funniest joke you've heard in years. And then you flip it again and you see this once in a lifetime moment caught on camera. And by the time you're 10 minutes in, you've seen more crazy, cool, beautiful, funny, inspirational things than your average human might have seen over the course of their entire lifetime. 70 years ago and then you get off your phone and you wonder why you feel depressed and my thought is it's just that your brain's just doped out it's just been so overstimulated that once you're done it's like you don't want to go and do that project you were you were gonna do you don't want to go and shoot that episode of your vlog that's only got 178 subs 178 champions I should say you don't want to do that. You just want to go back and you want to scroll some more. You don't want to like learn how to do business. You don't want to learn more about affiliate marketing or other cool things that you could be doing. You don't want to learn anything. You just, you just feel demotivated. I just got tired of it. I got tired of it and I was like, you know what? I want to make more YouTube episodes. I want to make more music. I want to learn cool creative ways to provide for my family, even though Technically, I can't do that legally in America at the moment because it, it, I still don't have my work authorization or my green card, which has been a big bummer. So be sure to destroy, I mean I say destroy the like and subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Hit that like and subscribe button, please, if you find this stuff enjoying and you want to see more of it. God is good and God's provided for us and I'm not going to pretend like we're in any kind of financial duress because we're really not. We have been very graciously provided for by God. So all that just to say, yeah, so I finally decided, you know what, enough is enough. It's like I got too much cool stuff that I want to do to waste a second of it scrolling or feeling depressed from the scrolling. But anyways... I'm going to let you go. Give him a kiss.
Till next time. Ooh, here she come, coming in for. Mina. Did you have fun?